recent video, we discussed the creation of complex sequences from simple building blocks, greatly increasing the depth of a simple dual sequence by switching the destinations of the X and Y channels gate outputs. That video is linked in this video's description. Now we'll extend the concept by using the Z axis to create key changes in this sequence, and mesh editing to allow us to reprogram all the variations at once on the playable surface. Here we have a dual sequence with differing gate patterns. As before, I'll remove an access location from the Y channel to start the sequences going in and out of phase. And then I'll swap the gate outputs. Now, on the mpaste page, I'm going to multi-paste this state to all 16 locations in the bank. Now let's go to the state select page. I'm disabling access to all but the left four states in this bank. Let's also set up the tuned voltage from this pressure points so that it can select these four states via the ZCV input. What I would like to do is change each of these states to its own key. So I'm going to start with row 2, reprogram X and Y quantize pages. We need to turn on the Z on option on the global page in order to change states with the pressure points from the program pages. Now we'll do the same with row three. And row four. The pressure points is now handy for key switching on the fly. Now let's go ahead and mesh enable these states. As I switch between states, I'm going to continually reprogram the gate and access pages of the X and Y channels. Since all the states are being mesh programmed, these changes take place across states. Each time I switch states, I encounter identical gate and access pages to what I was using on the previous state. We could extend this further, for example, having row correspond to key and column correspond to output range. I'll start by impasting each of these left column states to the other locations in the same row. Now we have four identical columns, each with four states that are identical to each other except for their keys. Let's mesh enable the first column and set the channels to output one octave. The second column, two octaves. third, three, and the fourth, four. Now we can use the state select page to instantly change both key and range for this sequence.
Let's turn off Z reset so that we don't interrupt the sequence when we do this. I'm going to mesh all 16 states again and do some various programming while changing states. Let's patch a slow clock to Z mod so we can let states change automatically. Remember, any change I make will affect all 16 states. I'm leaving the quantize page alone, but otherwise letting all 16 states always receive the same programming. The same is true of these 16 states on the Tempe.